y'all. I hope that you're having a good day. So today we are actually going to be talking about my one month post-op VSG update. Um, so I had the vertical sleeve gastrectomy July the 13th in Tijuana, Mexico with Mexico Bariatric Center. And I will have all of my stats listed in the description bar down below just so you know my starting off point, where I'm at now, and things like that. As far as how I'm doing, um, I'm feeling great. I don't really have any, you know, complaints health-wise. I pretty much feel the same as I did before the surgery, but I just get fuller a lot faster. I've kind of pinpointed some foods that upset me. Um, so like, you know, processed like uh, American cheese or whatever that's in like the little squares, that is no go for me. And I knew that I had something wrong, like something was bothering me before the surgery, you know, food wise and bathroom wise. Um, I knew that something was bothering me and I've narrowed it down to processed cheese. It's just a no go for me. I cannot do it. It does not make me feel good. <laughs> but I am pretty much eating normal foods at this point. I am five weeks post-op. My incisions are healing really good. Three of them are completely closed and everything. And I had uh, the one where my drain tube is and another one that I had at the top of my abdomen, like right here, like kind of like between and underneath my breast. Um, I had one there. It was kind of like opening a little bit. Well, I mean, not a little bit. It was kind of open, like it looked like a drain tube, but it was not a drain tube. Um, but those have both like scabbed and they've healed themselves and they look really good now and I don't have any open wounds on me anymore. So as far as my eating habits and things like that, I am still following a pretty strict, I mean, I wouldn't say strict, I'm, I could probably be a little bit more strict with my diet than I am, honestly. Um, I don't allow myself a lot of carbs or a lot of sweets or anything like that, so I am good about that, but I do allow myself some. I would say with my protein intake, I could definitely do a lot better. I have noticed that the protein shakes that I was drinking, as I was drinking the Premier Protein um, protein shakes, and I would get the chocolate flavored, and those, I mean, those were great. Like, I loved them. They tasted great. They went down great. I never had a problem with them pre-op, but after surgery, it's... I can hardly drink them. Um, that is one thing that I have noticed. Some of, you know, some foods don't taste the same. Um, those shakes, they definitely don't taste the same. They, uh, like, whenever I smell them for some reason, it just smells like soured milk to me or like some just really bad soured smell. So I try to sweeten them up a little bit. Chocolate almond milk. I'll put a little bit of that in there. I mean, I'm talking maybe a tablespoon or two tablespoons of it, you know, just a little bit to sweeten it up, but without adding too much extra sugar. Um, so I definitely need to work on trying to get in protein different ways other than shakes. Um, I do eat a lot of chicken and a lot of eggs, so that's good. Um, Fun fact, I have recently tried tuna, which I've never tried tuna before, and it's not that bad. I mean, it's dry, even if you add everything to it, it's still dry. I still don't regret having the surgery. I'm very happy that I have done it. I don't know if I would have been able to get this far without having the surgery. So I am very happy and very thankful that I did get it done. Um, so as far as my weight loss progress goes, um, I have hit a major stall and I know that it's because I'm not getting in my protein and as much water as I should be because I know everyone in my support group, everyone says to break their stall, all they did was increase their protein and increase their water and their stalls broke and they started losing weight again. So I definitely need to, need to, need to try to increase my protein more. 
because I know that I'm not getting in enough. I know I'm getting in protein, but I need to be getting in more so I can continue to lose weight and be successful with this. Because having the surgery done, it's not just like, oh, you have the surgery done and you're fixed for life and you can eat whatever you want now. That's not the case. You still have to make conscious decisions about what you're eating and what you're doing. And you have to make conscious decisions about getting in your protein and getting in your water because protein is key with this surgery. You have to have protein. So anyone out there who, you know, wants to make like a quick buck, I got a good idea for you. Make protein pills that contain more than like three grams of protein. Because I've tried looking for protein pills and like the actual protein that's in them is only like three grams per capsule and that's just Come on, just help us out. A couple days ago, what is today? Today is Tuesday. So uh, this past Sunday, me and Chris, we were outside working because we're trying to start like a cactus garden. Um, and we were outside working and I kind of overdid it a lot. And I definitely was not feeling good afterwards. Like I almost blacked out. And I think it's probably because I was a little dehydrated. I haven't really done too much physical activity just because at this point, you know, post-op I can't, you know, we can't really work out yet or I, I still can't lift more than 30 pounds at a time. So I have noticed that if I do something that's too strenuous, I do get really tired and I don't feel too great afterwards. So I hope that this video was kind of cohesive and it made sense. Um, I definitely should have written things down before I just sat down and started filming. Usually that's not the way that I go. I usually just sit down and everything comes out like word vomit. Um, but I think maybe having some, you know, topic points maybe would have helped me a little bit. But if there is any questions that you have for me or any tips, suggestions, anything like that, I'm always free and open to them. Um, my social medias are uh, listed down below and then you can always send me an email and that'll be listed down below as well. So I know that today's video was pretty short, sweet, and to the point, um, but if you do have anything for me, you know, like I said, please reach out to me um, and I would be happy to answer your questions or put something up, you know, in my next update on my BSG and yeah, we'll take it from there. So uh, if you did enjoy today's video, please give it a like and subscribe, hit the notification bell even though that it doesn't work. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.